What's going on guys, Boxkinis here, and welcome back to some more One Piece content. One Piece uh, Minecraft mod content. So in my previous episode of my One Piece survival series, I mentioned I was planning on doing a video showing off all the devil fruits, because in my survival series, currently I have the string string fruits, uh, with the, you know, the string string abilities and stuff, and I, I like it a lot, I do like the string string, but I want to know specifically, or exactly what devil fruit I want for my series. Uh, that means obviously I'd, have to f I'd still have to find the devil fruit, but I think I have uh, another devil fruit that I just found last episode as well. Uh, we're going to test out every single devil, devil fruit power this uh, video. So it's going to be a sep separate video from the actual One Piece series, but you know, it's still One Piece content and stuff. But uh, yeah, so here we are. I have all the devil fruits in here, all lined up perfectly, all uh, in order of the book, so I'll know. And... I, I don't know if I can actually use the abilities in creative. I should be able to, but we'll see. If we don't, I, I'm at a village, and this village is hopefully not going to be here after we're done. And that's, that's my plan, at least. So the first one, we have uh, the gum gum fruit, right? So Luffy's fruit. Now, as I've uh, stated in my One Piece series, I'm only 200 and, like... 30 episodes into One Piece. I just started a couple months ago, and I've it's quickly became my favorite anime of all time. Uh, I really love the show, and I'll have it caught up in no time. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and so there's uh, some stuff that I might not know. By the way, that's what I was trying to get at. But uh, okay, so let's do the gum gum fruit. Hopefully, I can do this in. I'm lagging. Okay, it looks like we can do it in creative. Good. And then, so our first move, let's see what we got. Pistol, second, or second gear, third gear, and fourth gear. Okay. <laughs> got it. So, come here, little villager, I need you. Okay. Oh, and it's insta-ready, too. Okay, good. That's, that's really good. I'm lagging. Yeah! Okay, I had to figure out why I was lagging. We should be good now. So, the, uh, the pistol move. Come back here. Nope. Oh. Now, of course, these moves I don't think are going... Actually, can I just upgrade them? Wait, where's my... Is it this button? Oh, I can't. I was hoping I could just upgrade it all while I was in creative, but... These things are hard to hit. This is like the, uh... It's, it, it's like how it is with my, uh, the string string. I'll probably show that, too, but... Yeah, you have to, like, get it right in the, a specific spot so it doesn't hit a block. Oh! Okay, that was, like, two hits, three hits on that guy. So, the next move is, uh, second gear gives you all these uh, buffs cool right oh no fly fun uh, we can just go to third gear I guess actually let me see if it does anything uh, creates a big punch that will damage everything it touches okay wait <laughs> it just blows up buildings cool like I said hopefully this uh, this town will be gone by time this uh, video is over with. That's pretty cool. And then we have the the the, the fourth gear. Let's just let's just see what it does. Sp uh, speed three, strength three. So it makes you strong. You know, makes you very very strong. Can I just two punch a villager? That's what that's what it does for me. So gum gum fruit is cool. Not as flashy as I would hope it would be. Uh, I'll show off the string string fruit as well. Just for those of you that aren't watching my uh, series. But now we have to eat one of these. Can I, how do I, can I, do I have to be in, uh, I think I have to be, oh my gosh. I have tested it out before, or like, uh, Devil Fruits before I started my one series, uh, my survival series, and if you eat another Devil Fruit, it like blows up, so you have to actually eat these, uh, Devil Fruit movers. So next we have the Flame Flame Fruit. Now this one I have high hopes for, guys. I really, really do. High, high hopes. Uh, let's see. Creates a small fire punch. Causes a little damage on impact. Creates small fire punches that will cause damage. Uh, let's just go through them. Uh, by the way, so this is the only devil fruit that is able to use this boat. And can I ride this thing on land? I can. But it's not that fit. Oh. Huh. So, only way you can use this boat is if you have this devil fruit power. So... Let's go ahead and get on with it. Oh my, that just made me like so hard. This is really cool though. Can I? This uh, this devil fruit power is really cool. <laughs> I like it so far. 
Might be the one I want to go for in my series. So there's that little fireball ability, you know. There's too many entities on the ground here. Then we got that, which is extremely loud. Well, maybe it's not a smart idea to set stuff on fire. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Oh, I like that. How far does it go? Oh, <laughs> wait, that's a really cool... Okay, I really like it. Okay, so, so far, the two I've been through, I like fire the most. Next ability. Where are we at? This is just... Does it only go a certain distance? Uh, wait, okay. Oh, there we go. I was just, uh... This is a really flashy... <laughs> this is an extremely flashy devil fruit, guys. Does it ever stop? Okay, so I think I know which one's my favorite so far. Okay, so next up we have the slow, slow fruit. Uh, the foxy pirates, obviously. I, I, I passed that, don't worry. Uh, I don't even know if we have to read these. Launches a beam that'll freeze completely whatever it hits. Launches slow, slow beam in every direction. Slow, slow beam fast in every direction. So, obviously I'm, I'm currently playing this on a single player world. So, there aren't any other players. So this Devil Fruit doesn't seem that useful for me, at least. Okay, I had to switch worlds because the village was burning and it was just getting too much lag. But here we are, over here, and can I hit that thing? Did it hit? No, see, you have to, like, hit it perfectly, guys. Oh, now on this world, it's not recharging instantly. That's not good. Why is that a thing? Why are you a thing? That's probably why. We're good now? What is this one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one's a little, like... Excessive, is it not? And then the large beam of slow. Which I don't even... Have I hit anything? Can I hit you? Are you fro... Okay, it's frozen, actually. Okay, things are frozen. Okay, this one is really flashy, guys. <laughs> the slow, slow fruit is really, really flashy, which is a good thing, actually. Oh, I'm not in game mode. Leave me alone, please. Go away. I could turn it in. What am I doing? Peaceful. All right, next fruit. Okay, next up on our list, we have the clear, clear fruit. I don't think I've ran into this one yet in the series where I'm at, but let's see. Oh, okay, it just makes you invisible. See, now this is another one that would not be useful for my single player series <laughs> at all, but it would be really, really cool uh, for a multiplayer series, which I, in the future, I do want to see if I can find a multiplayer server and play the One Piece mod on with, because I, that would just be an amazing series. It would be so much fun to play with. Next up, we have the Ox Ox Fruit, which, which I'm pretty... Oh, it says not working on it. Uh-oh. This is by... This was used by Dalton, I'm pretty sure. Is it working? Am I an Ox? Okay, it actually doesn't work. Okay, never mind. Okay, I just scroll over the rest. The rest don't say not working, so we should be good. This is the Opie Opie Fruit. There we go. Let's see what this one does. Uh, we should... I, I need my book. Oh, I do have my book. Good, I do have my book. Uh-oh. Oh, I've actually read this one before, and this one sounds really cool, so... Now, creates a room that is necessary to use any other power. So, does this mean that no one, no one else can use their devil fruit in here? That's what I'm guessing. It's pretty flashy so far. And then, uh oh, do I have to use this in unison with the other thing? Moves all entities inside the dome. Yep, moves. Quickly moves player towards another player. So this is another one that I wouldn't be using in my single player guy. <laughs> Makes blows blocks flow. Okay, so I have to actually be in this thing. Let's um let's time set day really quickly. And then let's use this again. And then <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what is this one? And then Oh, this one is really cool though. I don't know why it's uh, not instantly making my... <laughs> Look at the place! Does it? Does that do damage? Makes blocks float and throws them in random directions. I'm guessing it does damage, right? 
right? That's what I'd guess. This one's really cool, actually. And it would be really cool in a multiplayer world, is what I'm getting at. Don't know how cool it would be in a single player. Up next is the Ice Ice Fruit. I have a feeling this one's going to be really, really good, guys. Uh, I was just introduced to this guy. What's his name? I've only seen him, like, once, so I don't know. Things that starts with an A? Don't worry, I'll get there. But he is crazy cool. And let's... High five. Okay. We'll read after I, I use... Oh, now it's working, guys. You see? It, wait, did it instantly? I don't know. I don't think it did. Ice ball. Turns water to ice. It's so loud for me. I don't know if it's loud for you guys, but it's really loud for me. This one, this uh, this is an ice bridge, I'm guessing. I don't know the move, but is it an ice bridge? That's what I'd be guessing. Ice ball, ice age. All oh, right, ice age. Ice block creates a... Okay, which moves for... Okay. Let's uh, see this one. Oh, an ice pheasant. Okay. Oh, look at the animation. That's really cool. He's stuck. <laughs> then what was the other stuff? Ice ball creates a ball of hardened ice around the mob slash player the user is looking. Oh, okay. Hey. Cool. The uh, the sound effects are really like interesting too. <laughs> it sounds like rain hitting like a, a pan or something. So yes, I would be really happy with getting that one in my survival series. Um, Oh, I, oh, uh, the other fruit that I got on my survival series is the OP, OP fruit, actually. So that was the, the dome one. So I don't think I'll be using that one. <laughs> Next we have the pawpaw fruit. Which I'm not 100% sure what this is. Damages, pushes players and mobs like a TNT does. Creates an air bubble. Okay, let's just find a, let's just find a villager. The only guy has three abilities, though. Uh oh. Why am I hearing glass break? Pushed it. Okay. Wait, what was that? A more powerful version of the first move. Okay. And then the last move. Okay! <laughs> so, this one would actually be good for my survival series. It would be. I like this one a lot, actually. I think it's cool. Oh, I'm hearing the ice break, I think. That's what it was. Uh, that's a really nice one. I like that one. Cool, cool. So, I don't know if I'll be testing this one on camera because it's the, the revive, revive fruit. And it only has one ability. Prevents the player from dying, heals it, and teleports it within a thousand, within a thousand blocks in a random location. No cooldown. I don't think I'll be using this one, guys. If that's all it does, it's gonna take me away from this spot. I'm never gonna be able to find it again. You guys can get the idea. I can get the idea. <laughs> thunder, thunder fruit though. Uh, let's see what this guy is all about. Creates a big lightning bolt in location players looking. Creates random lightning bolts in a small radius area. Creates more random lightning bolts in a large air area. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Oh, there's an iron golem. Is he mad at me? I've been kind of killing these villagers. Did it shoot at him? Like, I'm kind of scared to... Oh. That's cool. Uh-oh, this village is going to start on fire. Oh, look at how big... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you see how much... <laughs> how big of an area this was? That's a little excessive. Uh... I wonder how much damage it does. Hmm. Now, is this just... Okay, it is just... A... Oh, that's cool. Huh. Well, this village is gone. Oh, that iron golem is on fire. My bad. Elthor. <laughs> how how far is this one? Very small. Huh. This one is, uh... Interesting. All the moves are kind of the same, though, so... Doesn't really... I mean, I guess you can say that about everything. All the moves are kind of the same for everything. But, Smoke Smoke. This one I have high hopes for, guys. I really, really like Smoker in the series. So, let us see. Let's read the abilities really quickly. Uh, creates a smoke punch that damages entities. 
Creates a smoke punch that will hunt an entity and damage it upon impact. Creates a smoke area around the player that will give slowness. Player will become immune to any kind of damage, including fall damage, and by pressing space, he can fl he can jump in midair. Also, strength. This seems OP, by the way. Is he not mad at me because he can't get to me? Is that a snake? Oh, it killed it. And this was the... This was the smoke that gives slowness. And then... Whee! 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 <laughs> There's no smoke trail. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh I forgot I couldn't go in water. Next up on our list is the Dark Dark Fruit. Now this one I was reading up on the abilities before I came back and this one sounds really cool. Creates a black hole at the location the player is looking. The hole will absorb other entities and damage them. Sounds awesome. Teleports the aimed entity at the player's location and makes it unable to move or attack. Creates a black sphere that will absorb the surrounding blocks and then release them. Like, that sounds awesome. Amazing. Oh, what did that do again? Absorb other entities and damage them. And then this one teleports, right? That to be closer. Why are these working? Why didn't it work? Maybe I'd be closer to them. What's this one? Here, let me let me try this one again. Try this one again. Get in there! Get in there! Get in there! Oh, it's in there. Get. Come here. Okay, that one worked if you're closer. Okay, let's try this one again. I, I think I aimed it a little too low, so let's try it. Maybe aiming in the air. Oh, there we go. It just ate that entire house. And spit it up. That is really, really cool. Dark Dark is my fruit, guys. I want the Dark Dark in my survival series ASAP. Now the last one on our list is the one the fruit that I have in my in my single player series, which is the string string fruit. And honestly, I've grown attached to this fruit or this this power. I think it's really really good. It's it it's flashy, and honestly, if I don't find any other fruits like the dark dark fruit that I wanted or the flame flame fruit, oh the flame flame fruit's really good though. If I if I find the flame flame, I'll probably change. But I'm fine with keeping this. So first off, we have the uh, the string shoot. Look at that. Then we have this, which is insane. Ready? It just demolishes everything. And I don't even know how far, because it goes on forever, honestly. <laughs> then we have this, which is let me see what this is actually. It's like a rainbow. This fires five colored strings that will cause great damage upon impact. But it's hard to hit, right? Because it like, hits the ground first. And then we have this really cool ability. That I zip through the air with string. Ready? Look at this. I've been using this to get around in my world. But yeah, I, I, I really like the string string fruit. It's uh, one of my favorites. Oh, look, it still goes. <laughs> it's definitely one of my favorites. It feels like, honestly, the most overpowered one, in my opinion. Uh... And I'll more than likely be keeping it unless I find Flame Flame. But yeah, so that was all the Devil Fruits in the One Piece mod, Minecraft mod. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like down below. I really appreciate it. If you guys are on the channel, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.